How does it feel to, I know you've been in the space business for a long time, and it must feel pretty weird to be talking about how people are fitting in seats, and uh, it must be something you've A, looked forward to for a long time, or B, totally weird to be talking about. It feels great, Alan. It feels great to finally get to this point. So we've been working at it for so long. I've been at Blue for 14 years. I started when there was 10 people, and it was a, you know, a dream of Jeff's, and uh, I can tell you he hasn't changed that dream, that vision, one bit. He is still as committed as he was on day one, and, and mm -hmm. so am I. I mean, we're, we're here, we're on the, the cusp of changing the industry in a very small way, and, and uh, um, so mm -hmm. it's exciting, yeah. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to what the next new Shepherd test is going to be. I thought it would be before now, but uh, oh, we're, we're building we're building out the fleet, and we uh, we want to get multiple vehicles out in the field right now. So, um, so mm -hmm. yeah. what sort of um, changes have you made after the learning experience with this vehicle to the human rated? Um, so, so some little things. Uh, one thing, you know, like up at the ring pin, you look at the the. The bottom edge of the ring fin up on top. Mm -hmm. That used to be that spray on thermal protection. Now it's a metallic, um, what we call a bull nose. And we learned from the flight program that we were beating that up and it's just kind of hard to refurbish. So we replaced it with a metallic and we we flew that um, on several flights and, and it's and it's great. We saved, you know, we saved many hours of turnaround time just on that change alone. We did some similar things on the fins. Um, we did some other things. A lot of them are with TPS. Um, a, few, a lot of things with the software, which we've talked about in the in between flights, um, adjusting our um, engine on altitude from 6,600 feet above the ground to 3,600 feet above the ground. That saves a lot of uh, propellant, so uh, gives you a little bit more performance, so you can go a little bit higher. Um, you know, there, there's. There's things that we had that were pre-planned upgrades that are, that we're working on that are um, adding more sensors, things like that. So um, a lot of things that we've learned, though. Um, but also the repetition, the repetition that Jeff talked about. Um, that's where the learning comes from. Being able to do similar things over and over again, you get faster at it, you get more practiced at it, um, um, and it allows you to spend your precious time doing something else. You, you know what I mean? I mean, it's just. Um, so the more practiced we are at New Shepard, the more time we can spend on New Glen. So um, mm -hmm. it's a very simple, you know, simple equation. <laughs> so, but, so when you go inside and you sit down, uh, there's a pre-programmed, um, you'll have a screen, every, every occupant will have a screen by their seat. So you'll see the flight, uh, actual flight video and they, they have the audio and they'll show the separation. It's condensed, it's not, Obviously, it's not 11 minutes long, but you'll get a get a feel for what the experience is like. Mm -hmm. so.